Hey, I'm Phoenix. We're at the Altar of Amps. It's a beautiful day today, so we're out on our back deck getting ready to clean up an old amp we just bought. It's not a restoration of any kind, just a cleaning and shining. Maybe help you sell your vintage amp, or just increase your enjoyment of ownership. Let's get started. Here we go. On the right, a beautiful 1966 Supro Big Star. This is a mint condition amplifier, needs nothing, just gorgeous. And on our left, well, there's another one that needs a little help. Has a kind of a dirty grill, has some corrosion here and there, and nicks and scratches. Let's see what we can do to help it out. Definitely needs a cleaning. There's a lot of dirt in there. You can see there's a little nick in the Tolex, maybe a spot of paint. The speakers are covered with grime. The inside of the cabinet is quite dirty also. The chassis is looking pretty good. That's a beautifully clean, rust-free transformer right there. And uh, there's some dirt and dust along the chassis and maybe a few corrosion spots that have just gotten started. When we clean that up, we want to be careful not to rub any of these little numbers off of the chassis, do anything too harsh. Rule of thumb here is just like a brain surgeon, first do no harm. Don't get started on anything you don't know where it's going. It's better to do nothing than to get started and damage your amplifier. Okay, we've dropped out the grill. So now, we can give a little attention to these beautiful Jensen's. And there we have the speakers removed from the grill itself. As you can see, I've cleaned this one up. Looks a lot nicer than that one. I've gone ahead and washed those cords too. The knobs, you can take them apart. There's three little tabs in the back and pull that chrome thing out that little chrome insert and you can shine them up. I put these to soak in a little warm soapy water and then I took a small brush, soft bristles, and worked those knobs. Be very careful not to brush off the little indicator paint right there. Be careful with these knobs. Now here's our grill out drying in the warm sun. Now what have I done to that? As you can see, this grill is considerably cleaner. What I have done is I took a tub full of warm, soapy water and I carefully submerged this for two minutes only, lifting it up and down, up and down, letting the soap suds run through the grill. The reason we don't do that for longer than two minutes is this is plywood. We do not want this soaking up a bunch of water. You have to do this really quick and get it right out into the warm sun to dry. I have in the past had no problems doing this, observing the two minute limit. No warpage, no shrinkage, nothing. Now, you do have to be careful what kind of grill you're cleaning, what kind of cloth it is. It may be a cloth that lose its dye. It may be a cloth that would shrink. It may be a cloth that would distort once it was dried. It's been my experience that all the Valco made amplifiers, that would be Gretsch, that would be Supro, that would be Airline, they use a similar grill. And I'm always able to run them through for two minutes and get them clean. Most of the dirt that you see in these grills is going to be nicotine. And nicotine will liquefy in warm water and run out within that two minute period. So as long as you're careful, you can really improve the look of your amp. Okay, now we're going to remove the chassis from the cabinet so we can clean both. Always make sure you have a good set of proper tools. Don't go clawing around in there with a pair of pliers. Get yourself a nice little ratchet set, one of the miniature ones, so you can get in there at all those all odd small angles, a good set of screwdrivers, different sizes, and uh, keep a bowl hanging around to put all your small parts in, your nuts and bolts, this and that, so you don't lose any of them. Okay, let's get to work cleaning up the inside of that dirty cabinet. Now underneath that other piece of plywood is standard 
installation for the Super Big Star. It covers the reverb pan, which we will find underneath. We'll want to take that out so we can clean the box really good. There we are. Now we're ready to take a little air and blow out as much of that as we can and then wipe it out. We'll also polish up the Tolex and clean up any of these dirty wires in there. Always being careful not to pull on them or damage them. And remember, anytime you're inside of an amplifier, even if it's unplugged, the capacitors store a lot of energy. They can harm or kill, so don't go poking around with the electronics unless you know what you're doing. Okay, now that we got the box wiped out pretty good, <coughs> we're going to go ahead and put some Tolex Restorer on it. Now, a lot of guys like to use different things, everything from just your regular armor all <coughs> to some specially designed solutions that you can find on eBay to shine up your Tolex. Whatever you do decide to use, do not spray it on your amplifier. It'll get on the grill, it'll get on the speakers, it'll, it'll could get into the electronics. Just spray it on the cloth and wipe it on. Now let's talk about our hardware. As you can see, a lot of these bolts here have a lot of corrosion on them. They don't look very nice. As well as our bowl full of hardware here. The chassis nuts, bolts, the speaker nuts and bolts, what have you. What I have here is called a knife eraser. You can get this on eBay just by typing in knife, or knife eraser. Uh, just about any big knife company sells them. You do not want to use them on chrome. You do not want to use them on aluminum, on the face plate, or anything like that. It's just, it will take the corrosion off, but it'll look all brushed out, and it'll look like you tried to take the corrosion off with something. This is only for your steel parts, like your screws, your washers, and your keepers. So let's try one of these really ugly looking ones, like this guy right here, and see what we can do with it. Doesn't take much. It's not really abrasive, but again, it's only for your steel parts. But it cleans them up very nicely. It'll even get into the pitting and take the rust out of the pitting. And now that we've finished that one, you can see that it's going to look a lot better than that one. Much shinier, much nicer. Looks new. Okay, we've got the reverb pan reinstalled in a clean cabinet. Let's finish cleaning off the faceplate, put the knobs back on, get the grill and speakers back in. Many people forget to clean the power cord. As a matter of fact, they're often pretty filthy. As long as you're careful not to pull on it too hard, you can clean these up, and make them nearly new, get most of the scuffs and grime off of them. Be amazed at how they look if you take the trouble to clean them. Okay, we've cleaned up the faceplate here just about as good we can. There's some corrosion there we're going to have to live with. A rule of thumb here is if you're rubbing on a spot and it's getting smaller, you're reducing a pile of corrosion or you're getting some good dirt off of there. If it's getting larger, stop. It's either gone through the chrome or it's gone through the paint and you're just going to make it worse. So on some old amps, you're not going to be able to make it perfect. You get it as good as you can and call it good. Okay, our Jensen's are all cleaned up, strapped back onto our clean grill. Let's bolt it right back onto that cabinet. And there we have it. And while it's not perfect, it certainly looks beautiful enough that anybody would be proud to own it. While we were inside, we were able to verify all the tranny codes and speaker codes also matched, verifying that this is an all original Supro amplifier 1966. The round back, same thing. Got her all cleaned up, got the speakers all shiny, got the cabinet all cleaned out, got a little Tolex preserver on there, wiped off the chassis, took all the small pieces of hardware and got the corrosion off them with the knife eraser. And now you can see, this is a beautiful amp. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Come back next time to the Altar of Amps. We'll plug into that Supro and record one of our video guitar lessons. Until then, this is Phoenix and play hard, play naked.